Did you mention how hot it was? I said how hot it was. God, it's hot. It's so hot. Did I mention it's hot? Only about a million times now. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Um, just doing the water change for today in this tropical heat in north of England. I just had a tropical storm as well, I think it was 33 degrees according to my car on the way home from work today. Um, but I'm just doing a water change. And number one son is now downstairs arguing with his friends over who's better at Fortnite. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to check in with you. And I've just noticed something down here in the tank, which I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can get you a bit closer. Just there, that's a, a lotus bulb that I planted about ooh, six months ago or so. That's just made an appearance and started to sprout. So, oh, I'll happy about that. But yes, uh, everything else is we. But zoomed in. Everything else is going well. I just thought I'd do a bit of a check in on the discus tank. Maybe show you a few of the other tanks. Maybe see how everything's going on. Um, if you've not seen it before, that's my wife in her underwear. Uh, I do my water changes automatically ish. And um, using Alexa, so I'm just going to get that started back up and get it filling again. Alexa, turn on the pump. Apologies to anyone okay. who's got an Alexa that's just done something silly. As ever, it never works. Alexa, turn on the pump. Okay. There you go, it fills it back up. As I said, it is a million degrees here, so just in case you've seen any strange reflections, full disclosure, I do have my legs out. It is boiling. Um, all the tanks are fine though, everything's reasonably temperature controlled. Um, it's just so hot. I'm hoping that this rain that we just had will start to break some of the heat through. So far, it's still sticky and horrible. a hot dog. They're two hot dogs. We've got some water changes going on in here too, down in the fish room. It's actually one of the coolest house, coolest rooms in the house. 
it's 27 degrees in here according to the temperature outside it's 32 at the moment so it's it's good it's the insulation that's in here that's keeping this place cooler got the Cabrensis tank thankfully I managed to get rid of a load of them at a meeting the other week they're looking quite good actually showing some of their colours nicely not going to focus on any of them for you but there you go so starting to thin out this tank a little bit thankfully down here we've just got some really dirty guppy tanks and snail tanks I'm just trying to breed snails as much as possible to keep my puffer fed another guppy and cherry shrimp tank and planted tank that's just growing lots of java fern, java moss and uh, that stuff which name escapes me this stuff I'm sure it will appear along the bottom of the screen once I remember what it's called uh, in here um, this is the pleco, the bristle nose pleco tank still got tons of these little juveniles in here they're doing really well and a few breeding pairs left as well there's a crown tail better in here probably hiding in the little skull this is my snail tank as well lots of little tiny ram's horn snails need to get them growing up just doing a water change on the rainbow tank um, there's only a few in there at the moment I'm doing a shipment coming in for one of my customers that asked for a load of rainbows so hopefully we'll get some more of them and I can show you them soon and then in here is Mr Fahaka he's still pretty awesome so I'll chuck in a couple of prawns for him and hopefully we can see him do a bit of feeding um, I've got him off live food all completely his diet now consists of these prawns bloodworms uh, and snails I try and give him snails every day if I can to hopefully keep his beak worn down um, as he gets a bit bigger, oh, there's a ghost knife coming out for a, a snaffle as well. As he gets a bit bigger, hopefully I can move him on to clams, but I can't really find a good source of them over here. But he's a voracious eater. He will not stop. Uh, in the middle of rejigging this tank as well, so I had these moving bed filters, but he just keeps knocking them off. Um, so I'm going to get rid of them all together and stick the FX5 back on this tank. At the moment it's just being done by one, two, three sponge filters and an internal filter there. Um, but he's loving it and I'm loving him. But if you remember the first video where I showed you him, he's making quite a massive size difference and how much weight he's put on. But look at that belly. This tank needs a clean. Apologies. Yeah, but the black ghost knife over there. It's just the two of them in this tank now. If you remember the fish that had his face bitten off or whatever it was that had happened, unfortunately he did not make it. Hardly surprising when you don't have a face. Um, so yeah, it's just the two of them in here. They got on pretty well. In as much as they don't bother each other. So I think I'll just leave it as the two of them in this tank together. But yes, so that's pretty much all that's going on in here. So just a quick one today, just wanted to give you a quick update, let you know what was going on in the fish room while I sweat to death around here. Because I mentioned it was hot. Yeah, um, so yeah, boiling hot. All the tanks are doing good though, all the fish are doing good. Give them a good feed, do all my water changes. Hopefully there's a bit left over so I can have a nice cold shower afterwards. But uh, well, as always, if this is your first time seeing this, please click that subscribe button. Um, let me know in the comments what you're thinking of these videos and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.